What's that on your hand, honey? I don't know. Uh, did you get into my makeup again? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Go wash it off right now. Mommy, it's not coming off. What? Oh, give me your hand. What the heck? See, I told you. <sighs> Come here. We're going to the doctor. Why would you draw that on your hand? I didn't draw this on myself. It's a birthmark. At least, I think. You think? She's probably an alien. <laughs> I heard that she's cursed. Dude, for real, I feel like she's cursed. She's had that mark since kindergarten. We have to get rid of her. I have a plan. Hey, some of us are going to go rock climbing. Do you want to join? You want to go with me? Yeah, we feel like it would be a lot of fun. Come on. Guys, um, I don't really know about this. The cliff looks pretty high up. Don't be a scaredy cat. We got you, girl. I really don't think this was a good idea, guys. Do it now. Cut a rope. What? Bye. No! Mom? Honey, where were you? You're not gonna believe what happened, okay? I went rock climbing with these two kids from school and they pushed me off the cliff and I fell down but I somehow survived and my mark, remember how it said 100? Well, look at it, it says 99. Mom, look at me. Shh, honey, I have to call back the police to let them know you're okay. I cannot believe you're making up such a ridiculous story. Mom, you could see that I got hurt. I have a cut on the side of my head. No, you don't. What? There's no mark, there's nothing. I must heal super fast and that's how I survived that fall. This mark, it's the number of lives that I have left. I can't believe this, but I'm not gonna let Jack and Sarah get away with almost trying to kill me. If my mom doesn't believe me, then I'm gonna take care of things myself. <gasps> Jack, look! What? Ugh. What the heck? You're not dead? Yeah, you know, I actually survived, no thanks to you. Time for the second plan. Whoa, whoa, what are you- <laughs> You freak! You stay away from us! I knew she was an alien! Come on, run! Hey, oh my god, I saw what just happened. No, it's okay. I'm gonna be okay. Just, can you pull the knife out? Listen, I'm no doctor, but I don't think you're supposed to do that. Please do it. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to survive. All right. You better not sue me for this. <sighs> oh no, I think she's... What the? Your crush is gonna appear. Oh no, my life is over. Come on, sissy, it's not gonna be... Mr. Smith. You have a crush on your math teacher? No. <laughs> No one can know this. No one can see your crush unless they make eye contact with you. Oh yeah, that'll be great because nobody looks me in the eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Giving myself a fake favor so mom won't make me go to school. Nice try, honey. I heard that. Uh, Bria? Bria? Hey, how y'all doing? I think the better question is how are you doing? Why do you have sunglasses on? Um, no reason. Girl, be for real with us. What happened? Alright, fine. Just look above my head. Well, what? <gasps> Having a crush on Mr. Smith is crazy. I did not expect that. Look, it's not my fault that I find older men attractive, all right? What am I going to do? Um, I would suggest maybe go see a therapist. <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney, stop. Gee, thanks for the help. <laughs> Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Um, I just had laser eye surgery, so I can't. Stop lying, Bria. You know sunglasses aren't allowed in the classroom. <laughs> We're not allowed to wear hats in the classroom either, Bria. <gasps> Come on. Mr. Smith wants to see your eyes. <laughs> Hey, did you need any help with your homework? No, nope, didn't need any help at all. Okay, okay, well that's good. Maria, it's a little disrespectful to not look at me when I'm speaking to you. What's going on with you today? You're usually so... friendly. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. 
Okay, sure honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! Well, now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? <gasps> Twee. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, Princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? 
I don't think this is her room. Help! Oh, princess, hey! I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to- What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor, helpless princess should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Time for more bloopers from my chaotic filming. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I love you, Mommy. What are you doing? <laughs> Lily. Trust me, he can end. <laughs> this has to stop right now. You are going to let me and these. Blah, blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. Try again. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a chef. This isn't even my. <laughs> Wait, didn't the bad guys. Blah. What do you mean my car's been declined? Not the drama. Let's go. What do you mean my car's been declined? Okay, ready? Now Three, time for a throwback. Two, one. Hi! <laughs> Bella, say hi! Hi! Hi, Siri. Um, your cheeks too. Are you getting itchy? Blooper. <laughs> Bella, say hi! 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 Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is gonna be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay, I... I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. 
You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my! You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... No. I needed a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call... How did you get more words? I... Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom! Let go of Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words! What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear! What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since my dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi, I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like you- he... I won't go breaking. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea, so you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was gonna catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh-eh. Uh -uh. That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshine my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in the play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever wanna talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync into Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? Did you say? I'm not going to let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm going to take away all your words again. Okay. okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate? So you're going to stay in this room forever? No, no, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella, 
Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on. Let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. Oh, you suck. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Don't go breaking my heart. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. Well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. <sighs> you may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip, gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I keep it loops. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday, he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, 
I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. All right, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. No, I needed a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call...
How did you get more words? I... Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go of Mom, what? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since... My dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi, I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like he- I won't go break him. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea? So you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was gonna catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh-eh. Uh -uh. That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshine my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in the play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever wanna talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync into Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? Did you say? I'm not going to let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm going to take away all your words again. Okay. okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate? So you're going to stay in this room forever. No, no, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on. Let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. 
Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you... They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But... Hush. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today, and so many articles have been written- I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. I'm not going to use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much. But I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. 
Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you, too. You make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at 17? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but... I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. 
Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if... If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. <gasps> Mom, do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I going to do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry. <sighs> I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Pass. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that- Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Bangs? Yes, I'm safe. But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm gonna help you. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. Hi, oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing, it's just you don't really look as good as you used no, 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 to. Mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-ons, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... The beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in 10 minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend Tara. She has hair like me and- There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Pass. Next. Help me take this one to the van. Uh, yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please, you can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <laughs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. I brought you food, hun. No, mom, I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care. And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help, someone help us. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh, no, sweetie, I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard- Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend, and I think you might be experiencing some PTSD right now. <laughs> Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. No, let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Mom forgot her laptop in here. She got a text from someone called Unknown. Hey boss, we're gonna need you to make the beauty standards a lot harder. Not enough people have been eliminated. Wait, he wouldn't be calling her boss unless she's in charge of the whole system. So, if my mom is in charge of the beauty standards, then... Someone help us, please! That voice is real. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to follow where the voice is coming from and save my friend. The beauty standard is about to change. I better hurry. Hello? <gasps> Tara? You... you found me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Your mom, she, she's in charge of the system. I know, I know. Honey, it's dinner time. I have to go. No, don't leave me in the cell. I'll be back, alright? I'm gonna save you. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. 
You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret, and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. This looks so cute. Mom, please don't hurt my friend. Hush, let me finish your freckles. All right, now let me scan you. No, no, I don't want to do the beauty check. Oh, stop being so dramatic. Passed. You see, that was easy. Why are you making these beauty standards for people? Because growing up, my mother made sure I followed all the beauty standards. Every single one. I'm really sorry that happened to you, but you can't force everyone to follow these standards. It's not... It's not fair. Oh, honey, I didn't even get to finish my story. Jace, keep an eye on her. I'll be right back. Sure thing, boss. Hey, I'm gonna give you something to wake you up. Can you hear me? This is gonna hurt a little bit. What? I'm gonna inject it into your arm. Three, two... <sighs> I'm sorry, but your mom, she's planning on killing your friend. But I know a way you could stop her and shut down this whole system. Wait, if you work for my mom, then why are you helping me? Because this is all getting out of hand. They just passed a new law that everyone locked up is to be killed. And that includes your friend, Tara. No, she wouldn't do that. Well, it's supposed to happen tonight at midnight. And your mom isn't the only one that works for the system. In fact, the others are getting kind of mad that she keeps making the beauty standards too easy. What? Yeah, supposedly some of them are going to try and hack the system and change the standard to something really hard. And it looks like they already did it. Wait, this is perfect. Let me scan you for the beauty check. What? No, I'm gonna fail. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Trust me, I think this is the only way we can get your mom to shut the system down. Just stay still. Failed. I'm back. <gasps> mom, please help me. Who changed the beauty standard to blue eyes? I'm not sure, but ma'am, your daughter has failed the inspection. No, no, she never fails. Ma'am, I would suggest shutting down the system. I can't. You have to, please. It, it doesn't work like that the way I designed it. It has to say something for the standard. Then put that everyone is beautiful. Otherwise, you know what's gonna happen. Mom? Ma'am, the system has been hacked. They're gonna kill her for failing. I... I can't. Mom, please. Ma'am, you're the only one that can change this. Come on. I... No! I did it. I'm so sorry, honey. I got so caught up in these beauty standards that I forgot what was really important. Here, go free everyone. Thank you. You made the right choice, ma'am. Let's go. <sighs> Tara! You came back. <laughs> Hang on, let me put in the code. They, they said they were gonna kill- No, that's not happening anymore. The system is over with. Everyone is considered beautiful. You're all free to go. Yeah! Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. <laughs> oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she... She what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked! I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no! <sighs> oh! Oh, my new shoes! That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> Princess, hey, I'm uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek, it's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go, it's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me, we have important business to attend to. Princess. Huh. I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. 
Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm gonna try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm gonna climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, oh. ah. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent. Figures. Ugh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Ugh. I'm up. Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you. The queen, she's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is! He's in here, guards! Take him away! Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom, and he was trying to poison the princess! No, stop! Wait, the queen is lying! Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has ten brain no. cells. No! I'm smart now! My brain cells are coming back! I Silence! That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now, or I will have the prince killed. No. Drink it, or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake! Drink it for real! I can see your brain cells. <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the gods now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing them in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. <gasps> Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly dingly. The key! Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping and shiny thing, so me take you. <laughs> okay, well hurry, unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh! <laughs> Good, now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <gasps> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess! Brain cells, all of them, coming back fast. Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, alright? Oh, no, outsmart me! I don't think so. Stop, you can't do this, it's against- I don't understand, I'm the princess, you're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedient spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here, drink this. And this time, it's not a potion. And this time, it's not a potion. You poison this? So what makes you think that I'm gonna drink it? I'm willing to trade you. Your life <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please. You were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor. But to show you that I mean business... <laughs> no, Derek. You know how you can save him, dear. You are a monster. People do crazy things to remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No. That a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> Oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. Uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the prince has lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get here in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, princess, as, as you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works too. Okay, it's done.
The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be all right. But his father from the rival kingdom is here, and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You! Your stepmother kidnapped my son! And you! You saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know. Um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, hey. I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. Please, don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <laughs> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning. I just wanted to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot! Did you just- No, I- Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down, because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way! We're gonna party hard tonight! I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go! Um... <laughs> Let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a- a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great! Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Jeez, I was just kidding! Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. 
Whoa! You good? No, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. <laughs> Why do we have to switch back? Oh, please, just be anything but my hand. Seriously? Listen, I just got a new job, and I cannot have you messing it up for me, okay? Hi, welcome to Happy Burger. How may I take your order? Get me a cheeseburger. Okay, and would you like a side of fries with that? No, no thank you. Hey, I said no fries. I am so sorry, ma'am. Let me fix that for you right now. Jerk. Excuse me, are you talking to me? No, ma'am, not you. Here is your food, ma'am, and I am very sorry for the misunderstanding. You should be fired. <gasps> How dare you? No, ma'am, I am so sorry. That was not me. I am going to go speak to the manager, you weirdo. No, <laughs> ma'am, please wait. Hand over your equipment. Please, don't fire me. Okay, maybe I won't if you, uh, do me a little favor. Samantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle? You turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was going to say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tuts, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're going to need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now, come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're going to make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is going to be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just going to be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm going to be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now, come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no. God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here, and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where is Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? 
Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I- Get out of my house. You heard her get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I, I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Twitz. Listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey, guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. Pet said a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500. Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour? Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great, thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. <sighs> Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. 
Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you- Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna- You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog, that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait, have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, oh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're gonna scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great. You know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you Don't are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of Freeze Kid. What the? Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you! Your crush is gonna appear. Oh no, my life is over. Come on, sissy, it's not gonna be... Mr. Smith. You have a crush on your math teacher? No. <laughs> no one can know this. No one can see your crush unless they make eye contact with you. Oh yeah, that'll be great because nobody looks me in the eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Giving myself a fake fever so mom won't make me go to school. Nice try, honey. I heard that. Uh, Bria? Bria? Hey, how y'all doing? I think the better question is, how are you doing? Why do you have sunglasses on? Um, no reason. 
girl. Be for real with us. What happened? All right, fine. Just look above my head. Well, <gasps> what? Having a crush on Mr. Smith is crazy. I did not expect that. Look, it's not my fault that I find older men attractive, all right? What am I going to do? Um, I would suggest maybe go see a therapist. <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney, stop. Gee, thanks for the help. <laughs> Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Um, I just had laser eye surgery, so I can't. Stop lying, Bria. You know sunglasses aren't allowed in the classroom. <laughs> We're not allowed to wear hats in the classroom either, Bria. <gasps> Come on. Mr. Smith wants to see your eyes. Hey, did you need any help with your homework? No, nope. Didn't need any help at all. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Bria, it's a little disrespectful to not look at me when I'm speaking to you. What's going on with you today? You're usually so friendly. See how much money my boyfriend has or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Wow, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <laughs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um... What is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I- Stop calling her. She's not going to answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend? 
you will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here, and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, <laughs> see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh! What the? Oh! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny... Stop! What the heck, Stacy? Uh, girl, look up! I just saved your life! They banned Christmas music! This is ridiculous! I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit! Jingle bells, jingle Who is that? Bells, it's Mr. Smith! He's singing Jingle Bells! He has his oh, AirPods in! Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open! <laughs> no! Sweetheart, you gotta smile! It's picture day! Come on! I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh! Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am. You do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. <gasps> Someone is seriously out to get me. Oh, gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet, and here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. I oh! am not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. I oh. am not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? <laughs> okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know, your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the... I'm safe! <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... That's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know, this is a really bad one. Emergency! Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency! Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it's addressed? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! 
Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jinx. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops. Now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay. Just choose to save yourself. No, Dad. I'm not going to make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't! Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom? What the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. <sighs> That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Oh, thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No, whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. <laughs> mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're... they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> promise... promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she... she would have wanted us to be happy. <laughs> We have to run. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. Uh, this is a disaster. I have to film for my spy series and I have no idea what to wear. <coughs> oh no, one of my studio lights just fell over and broke. Uh, my lighting is gonna look terrible now. Bree, come on, it's almost time to film. Coming. Oh, I gotta think of something, and quick. Wait, I have an idea. Ooh, I really love these outfit ideas for my spy character, Maya. Let's see, I think this outfit would be perfect for her. Yes, I knew this app would help. These tips should help with my lighting issue. This is perfect, I'll use this as a guide to help style the outfit. I'm gonna need these, this, Ooh, and these shoes match the photo pretty well. Okay, I think I found all the items. Time to see what it looks like on. I'm ready to record. Well, love the fit, Brie, and you put it together so fast. What's your secret? Thanks, I actually use the Lemonade app. Huh? Lemonade? <laughs> no, Lemon 8. Oh, Lemon and number 8. I'm gonna download it right now. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly very helpful for all sorts of different tips and tricks. Sweet, love it. Oh, and by the way, you can actually follow me on there if you want. I can. Look. Okay, girl, you just got a new follower. I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son. Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. 
Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of? Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly? Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You alright? Mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is gonna be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Wanna see something cool? Sure. <laughs> It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing, Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving, and he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho <laughs> ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story, plus <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's gonna lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. You can watch the full ending on my YouTube channel now. Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm- What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon.
There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Princess, shut up. So, what did your future say? It said that I'm going to become a princess. Well, hun, it's true. What? You know how I've been dating this guy? Yeah. He asked me to marry him last night. Well, Mom, I'm really happy for you, but what does that have to do with me being a princess? <laughs> Well, it turns out that he's, um, a king. So once I marry him, you and I will be... Royalty. I'm gonna be a princess. Come on, you have to meet his kids. I'd like you to meet my son and daughter, Luke and Lacey. Hello. Hi. Are you seriously not even gonna curtsy? Oh, was I supposed to? Um, duh. Hey, honey, next time curtsy, okay? Otherwise, it's very disrespectful. My kids can be a bit harsh on new guests, but they will warm up to you. We are not letting her become our new stepsister. Definitely not. I think it's time for a little sabotage. They're gonna try and change my future. They're trying to change my future. Why are you looking at me like that? I heard what you guys were saying. Oh yeah, what did we say? That you were gonna try and sabotage our parents' wedding, and I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm sorry. Things have been rough since our mom passed. We shouldn't have said, hey... It's okay, I understand. Things have been pretty hard for me too. Your dad passed away, huh? Yeah. We shouldn't have tried to plot against you. How about we call it a truce, okay? Hey, wanna play a game? Okay. Cool, let's say our biggest fears. You go first. Mine is snakes. Oh, you don't like snakes, huh? Interesting. This is what you get for spying on our conversation. Sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, breakfast is ready. You're trying to make me your maid. How did you- Did your future change? Yeah, it did. Haven't you two seen the movie Cinderella? Do you really want to be known as the evil step-siblings? We're not evil. We're just trying to make our new stepsister useful. I'm telling our parents. If you try and tell them, I'll make our dad call off the wedding. Our parents are in love. It'll crush them. We know. So we suggest you keep your mouth shut. All you gotta do is agree to do whatever we say, and- We won't stand in the way of our parents' wedding. Come on, you don't want to be the reason they break up. You guys promise you won't sabotage their marriage? Pinky swear. So, do we have a deal or not? Fine. Yay, now hand me the puppy. <laughs> now get to cleaning. You can start with my room first. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Me either. Nice try, you're not going to fool me again. We're being for real, we feel sick. <gasps> <laughs> Help. <laughs> Nice acting. I'm not falling for that anymore. Uh, no, seriously, something's wrong. Uh, I can't breathe. I think we're having an allergic reaction. Oh my gosh, who would do this? Me. These brats have been nothing but rude to me my whole time here. So today I made them a special meal. Look, I know they're not the nicest, but you can't do this. They will die. It is too late for them now. No, they have to have an EpiPen or something. <laughs> you won't be able to find it in time. The puppy brought me this. Is this- That's our medicine. You have to inject us with it. Ugh. Ugh. Look, I know they're not the nicest, but you can't do this. They will die. It is too late for them now. No, they have to have an EpiPen or something. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to find it in time. Ow! The puppy brought me this. Is this- That's our medicine. You have to inject us with it. Ugh. Ugh. Your Majesty, are they going to be okay? 
Yes, they're going to be all right. I cannot thank you enough. Mom, you look amazing. Oh, honey, thank you. I'm so nervous to walk down the aisle. Well, don't be. Everything's going to be fine. Hey. Could we talk to you for a sec? Sure. We wanted to say thank you for saving us. And we want to offer you something for the future in return. I was supposed to be next in line for the throne, but I want to give it to you. You guys, really, I can't accept. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah, I mean, you saved our lives, even after we treated you like trash. We're so sorry, and we think you'll make a great queen. We promise to treat you like our sister now. So deal? Okay, deal. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Wow, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings? Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <laughs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally, come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually gonna put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I... Stop calling her. She's not going to answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I... Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. 
Really? Because I'm new here, and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah! What the? Ah! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. Darling, are you ready for scare school? Yeah, but I'm kind of sad Halloween break is over. Well, have you gotten your scary soulmate yet? I haven't yet, but I'm sure it'll say vampire. Any species will be fine, as long as it doesn't say... Monster Hunter. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure you will get a spooktacular soulmate. Of course. Um, I better get to class. Class, for an icebreaker, why don't we all tell each other our scary soulmates? Batalina, we'll start with you. Well, my scary soulmate is... Red alert. Red alert. Monster Hunter has been detected on property. What? Everyone, be quiet. Get to the safe room. Batalina, hurry. We have to get to the safe room. Julia, I don't know what's wrong. There must be garlic around here somewhere. But they're about to close the doors. Just go. Save yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I see you fell right for my garlic trap. Finally, I've caught my first vampire. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. What the? Oh, hell no. I'm not dealing with this. Get away from me. Welcome back from school. Here, eat some zombie fingers. I'm not really hungry. Mom says my things are going to come in before yours. That's really great, Luna. Listen, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell Mom and Dad. Is it about your soulmate? Yes, and I'm only telling you this because I can't stand keeping this secret anymore. Is your soulmate a werewolf? No, worse than that. Uh, is he a ghost or something? Worse. Wait, is your soulmate a human? Yeah. Is your soulmate a monster Would you hunter? Shush, they're gonna hear you. Monster hunters want to experiment on us. I know, okay? I almost got captured by one today. Wait, what? Look, it's a long story, but. No way I'm answering that. Luna! Bethelina, go see who's at the door. Of course. Hey, remember me? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> you caught a beautiful vampire, son. Thanks, it wasn't easy. So feisty, but no fangs, I see. Interesting. First, let's test your resistance to sunlight. No, please. Dad, wait. <laughs> son, watch her. I'll be right back. Hey, there's something I need to tell you. I'm actually half werewolf. My father doesn't know. What? He's been training me to be a monster hunter for years, but I just can't go through with this. I don't like seeing him hurt you. Son, we need a blood sample from her. Come on, we gotta get you out of here now. Son? Run, this way. Alright, you should be safe now. Thanks. Us mythical creatures, we have this thing called a scary soulmate. I know, since I'm half werewolf, I also got one. Oh. <laughs> what does yours say? Monster hunter? Huh, mine says vampire. You don't think that... You and I are... Soulmates? There she is! Get back! Mom, Dad, please wait. He... he saved my life. I'm sorry for taking her away. I was just trying to make my dad proud. Betalina, humans are not to be trusted. But... but he's not fully human. Watch, I'll prove it. <gasps> you are a werewolf? Part werewolf, yes sir. So, does this mean that you'll allow us to date? Date? You like him. Yeah, we kind of think that we're each other's soulmates. Yeah. I see. Oh! Dad! That was for kidnapping my daughter. Oh. But that is for returning her safely. Thanks. You may kiss him now. Wait, what? You must kiss him, darling, to see if he's truly your scary soulmate. Like, right now? In front of you guys? Come on, would you just kiss him already? Luna, when did you get here? Eh, just a little while ago. Okay, well, can you guys, like, close your eyes, please? Of course. It's okay. We should find out. It's a match. <laughs> we are. Yes, I knew it. Guys, look. Son, how dare you betray me. Get away, Dad. She's my soulmate, and I'm not going to let you hurt her. You're a creature like them? Yes, he is, and I suggest you run unless... You want to become our next meal. Uh, of course not. Please don't eat me. Uh, I'm going. I'm leaving. He won't be bothering us again. Yeah, I think we all scared the crap out of him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. 
Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. Okay, sure, honey. You can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure. Do you have the receipt? I don't. I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Oh. Well, now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super bass. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. 
I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm going to buy you contacts, but first we got to fix that unibrow. I'm going to pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm going to make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my car. Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Ugh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! 
Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her. <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola. Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. Eres mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire! Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah. Being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Aww. Aww. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah, Barbie and Ken, finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? I... I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are gonna turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm gonna miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are gonna... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm gonna tell on you. No, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me. No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. 
Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst. Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish. I wish. For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Wow, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, x equals two and y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. 
Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually gonna put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her, I just know it. Love Meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I- Stop calling her, she's not gonna answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay, and I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here, and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, <laughs> see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah! What the? Oh! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. Please be more than 50 this time. 100! Oh, no, sweetheart, that says 10. What are we gonna do? I don't know, every day she barely gets any brain cells. Hey, don't eat that. I won't have a delinquent for a daughter. Hey, your squishy panda isn't food. You know what? I know what we need to do. You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Yes, but they haven't been tested much. I'm a walrus. Give me those. We're trying them. Open wide, sweetheart. Now chew. Oh my gosh, it's working. Let's test her brain cells. Spell onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. -O yes, she's smart now. We'll give her the candy every day. <gasps> she actually got a decent amount of brain cells. Guess she doesn't need the candy today. But she's been taking it every day for years. Let me see the candy. She'll be fine. Yeah, there shouldn't be any side effects. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Now, my opponent has pointed out some of the positives of AI, but I would like to point out some of the negatives. Which are, um... Sorry, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yo, is she okay? What the heck is going on? Maybe she got stage fright. You guys, look, she's losing brain cells. Dude, that's not supposed to happen. Hey, girly, are you okay? Maybe we should get you some help. Zapotha. Oh, no. Bro, she's, like, super dumb now. Today was her big debate. I have to tell her parents. Huh? Come on, you're coming with me. So there was side effects to that smart candy. I guess so. She keeps losing brain cells. I don't know if the candy's gonna work anymore. She's gonna be brain dead without it. Let's just try. Sweetie, open up. Mm -mm. Open up or I'll do it for you. Come on. Good girl. It's kind of working. No, she needs more candy. It's supposed to be one a day. She needs more brain cells. Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. She, she has, has infinite, infinite brain, brain cells. cells. Yes, unfortunately, my intelligence level has now surpassed your small, feeble minds.
Honey, she's scaring me. We should take her to get checked out. I think I gave her too much. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because my mind is telling me that if you do that, that will be the end of both of you. What? Oh, honey. You're up early. Good morning, mother. Good morning, father. We see you still have infinite brain cells. <laughs> when is this smart candy going to wear off? My mind is telling me that the effects from this candy won't be wearing off until around two weeks from now. No, honey, we really need to take you to get checked. I already told you that that is a bad idea. You're not the boss. You may think you know everything, but you don't. I know what you were doing on Instagram last night. Huh? What is she talking about, honey? Uh... Nothing. It's just, um... Does the name Sandy Smith ring a bell? How do you know? <gasps> Your ex from high school? Are you still liking her posts? Just two of them. What? So, what I can gather from Dad's body language is that he does love you more than Sandy, but if he doesn't block her within the next two hours, it will lead to a divorce for both of you. Darren? I'm doing it. Uh, she's blocked. <laughs> My sources say that, uh, you made the right call. I want her to go back to normal. Same, but as long as she's like this, we might as well make some money off of her. So, how does a game show sound? I would win all the money. Really? really? But I don't wish to do that at this time. Say what? Why not? <sighs> Reasons you can't understand. <laughs> because you're stupid. That's it. We have to turn her back to normal. Yeah, and I think I know how. Surprise! We got you something. Gummy bears? They're your favorite, right? So go on, have a bite. Did you know that the gummy bear was invented in 1922 in Germany? Wow, thanks for the interesting fact. Now try it. You two are trying to poison me. What? We would never. Well, then you eat it first. Oh, she got me right in the eye. <gasps> oh, honey. That's it. Grab her arms. What? Grab her. No. Sweetie, just hold still. Uh -oh. Ow! Just eat the gummy and this will all be over. Yes, there you go. I thought these gummies were supposed to turn her back to normal. They were. <laughs> She's brain dead. No, honey, please wake up. Oh, no. What the? Oh, my gosh, it worked. What just happened? Wow. Uh, I feel really weird. Honey, we're so glad you're back to normal. Back to normal? You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. I remember what you guys did to me. We're so sorry. It won't happen again. Maybe you two should eat some of those smart candies so you could figure out how to do proper parenting. Oh, that's, that's not, not a bad, bad idea. idea. Wait, give me those. You two are banned from these. But... Well, it was really nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll see you around. We should definitely, like, hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. Okay, have a good night. Bye. <sighs> I really thought he was going to ask me out tonight. Maybe he doesn't feel the same way about me. I just wish I knew the truth. Nicole? Whoa! Who are you? I'm a truth fairy, sweetheart. You wish that I stop? I did. Anyways, let's make this quick, okay? The rules are simple. You only get three questions, and I have to give you the truth, no matter how ugly. Can you really do that? Wait, did I just use up a question? Uh, okay, I want to know what my crush really thinks about me. This one's gonna take a while, sweetheart. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, hold on. You're writing way too fast and I can barely read your handwriting. Hang on, I have an app for this. I'll just use the cam scanner app. And I'll make sure to have the no shadow filter on. And now I can extract the text. And I can make any changes I need from here. He does like me back. But wait a second. The reason he hasn't asked me out yet is because he secretly wishes I would die? Second page, sweetheart. Oh, dye my hair red. Wait, what? Eh, figures. Guys are really into redheads these days, you know? It's the truth. Hey, make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your seventeenth birthday is in one week and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, Princess. And you are running out of time. 
But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No. My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, Princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, Father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turned back to red, and remember Mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's alright now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if... if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you two? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. 
Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on, I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my Amber Alert? Missing girl from 2018 shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're going to take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're going to... No. No, help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him. It's all right. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please! Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to- Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not gonna be able to call me anything now. You're finally gonna get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Miss the Paca got what he deserved. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Oh, babe, I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? 
She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No. Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my Amber Alert? Missing girl from 2018 shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're going to take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're going to... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him. It's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Mr. Parker. Babe, you have to listen to him. 
Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Parker got what he deserved. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the... <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about... No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh! What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers, oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright, she wants us to move. Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You wanna come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie! Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Watch it. You know what happens when you act up. 
I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm. honey. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's- Oh! Oh! oh you broke my hand, you little- oh. Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room! Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White! Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey... Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for laser- <laughs> Get the glasses quickly! Bad kid. Hurry doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... Strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! Ugh. Life is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom! I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kinda looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kinda looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Nenere, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana! No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay, there's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <sighs> He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> your crush is gonna appear. Oh no, my life is over. Come on, Sissy, it's not gonna be... Mr. Smith. You have a crush on your math teacher? No. <laughs> no one can know this. No one can see your crush unless they make eye contact with you. Oh yeah, that'll be great because nobody looks me in the eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Giving myself a fake fever so mom won't make me go to school. Nice try, honey. I heard that. Uh, Bria? Bria? Hey. 
How y'all doing? I think the better question is, how are you doing? Why do you have sunglasses on? Um, no reason. Girl, be for real with us. What happened? All right, fine. Just look above my head. Well, what? <gasps> Having a crush on Mr. Smith is crazy. I did not expect that. Look, it's not my fault that I find older men attractive, all right? What am I going to do? Um, I would suggest maybe go see a therapist. <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney, stop. Gee, thanks for the help. <laughs> Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Um, I just had laser eye surgery, so I can't. Stop lying, Bria. You know sunglasses aren't allowed in the classroom. <laughs> We're not allowed to wear hats in the classroom either, Bria. <sighs> Come on. Mr. Smith wants to see your eyes. Hey, did you need any help with your homework? No, nope, didn't need any help at all. Okay, okay, well that's good. Maria, it's a little disrespectful to not look at me when I'm speaking to you. What's going on with you today? You're usually so... friendly. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> Oh, shit. Talking about something. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, <laughs> there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. May. Oh, no, he didn't. May. Oh, no, he didn't. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. <gasps> oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But, Mom. Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got desk to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom- there you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. <sighs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? 
At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zach Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. <laughs> I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey. You're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cut. <laughs> Deal. Samantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle? You turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was going to say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're gonna need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day? And then you're gonna make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is gonna be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just gonna be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm gonna be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now, come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh, did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here, and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? 
Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I- Get out of my house. You heard her get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I, I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Toots. Listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey, guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. La 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 la. Can I play with one of your toys too? No. Why not? Because you're not my real sister. Yes, we are. Sasha said she said that we are. You're literally just proving my point. You call her Sasha, not mom. When I get a real baby sister, that's when I'll share my toys. Thank you for saving us from that evil girl. Yeah, she was so mean to us. Don't worry, guys. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Hey, Sasha. So, I was wondering, since it's almost Halloween, do you think I could get some money for a costume? If you want one, Jane, buy it yourself. But you bought one for Anna. Yes, but that's that's different. Whatever. My mom said that when she was a baby, they found her on the side of the highway. <gasps> No way. Her real parents just ditched her like that? It's no wonder that she has so many issues. Right? That makes so much more sense now. 
Okay, girlies, let's go do our Halloween makeup and then we'll get into our costumes. Yay! Look at this new makeup palette I got. Wait a minute. Are those my stuffed animals from when I was little? No. Uh-huh. And where did you get the money to buy that costume? I found some money on the street. You little thief! Give me that hey. bucket! Oh my gosh, is this your little stash of all my stuff? Mom, come here and look at this. <gasps> you don't even use any of that. It doesn't matter. I will not allow a thief to live in my home. So what? You're gonna kick me out? As a matter of fact, I will. Whatever, I don't need you guys anyways. I know you only adopted me, so you could look good in front of your rich friends. Oh, how dare you. Here, this is all the money I'm giving you. Good luck living on the streets. You know, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. No, dear, you're 18 now. This will be good for you, Jane. It was nice knowing you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being broken homeless. <laughs> you know what? The heck with them. But I promised you guys I would not leave you with her. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Excuse me, miss. Do you have any spare money? I'm so hungry. How about this, hun? i I'll give you $20 for those two stuffed animals. You know what? Deal. Uh-oh, I only have pocket change. But you said you would give me 20 This isn't worth it. Sorry, honey. I gotta go. Give me back my stuffed animals. Bye. See ya. Hey! Wait a minute. She dropped her credit card. I hope she doesn't mind me going on a little shopping spree. Ow! Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not. Excuse me, miss. Is your name Jane? No. Freeze! Jane 5, cop 0. Excuse me, miss. I'm homeless, and I was wondering if you have any money. What do you say you come work for me? Okay. Pretending to be your daughter was the perfect distraction. I told you, they never suspect a mother-daughter duo. And this is nothing, kid. If you stick with me, I got a lot more tricks where this came from. Hey, you two! They must know we stole. Stay calm, kid. I got this. Excuse me, officer. There's just been a misunderstanding. I- Officer, help! She's trying to kidnap me! What? I thought we were a team. Hands on your head. I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. This isn't over, kid. Come on, let's go. Okay, you get one phone call. Hurry up. Come on, pick up. Pick up, damn it. Hello? Hey, Kate, it's me. Who? It it's Jane. Remember I helped you steal- I mean, I helped you borrow that car one time. Oh, yes, Jane, I remember you. Yeah, listen, I am in a bit of a jam. I am currently in jail, and I'm gonna need you to bail me out. What? Wait, wait. how did that happen? It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it, but uh, let's just say I'm never having kids. <laughs> you always did have a soft spot, didn't you? Okay, are you gonna help me or not? Depends. Is there going to be revenge? Um, it's me. Duh. Then I'm in. See you soon, Jane. Next. What do we got here? Jane Danvers. Okay, here's your stuff. Get out. I can't believe she took your car, too. Yeah, I know. That little brat was a con artist herself. But she's gonna wish she didn't mess with me. You remember the plan? Sure do. Let's do this. Oh, hey! Oh, pardon me. I'm such a klutz. Hey. <gasps> J Jane, how did you get out of prison? I, uh, I got bailed out, no thanks to you. About how I took your car and turned you in, You I... were just trying to save yourself. Exactly, so you're not mad, right? Nah, come here, give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, ma'am, I just saw that girl take your wallet. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, she did, it's right there in her back pocket. Hey! I didn't take her stupid wallet, she did this! Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me. Oh, no. Someone call the police. You're coming with us. Get off of me, I'm telling you it was her. Later, traitor. Why, you little bit! You should have showed her, Jane. Never tried out, Conacon -con woman. Precisely. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you two? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's gonna get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm gonna find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out.
Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't, you'll get... I'm coming in! Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt, just in case you need it. Thanks, come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on, I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my... Amber Alert, missing girl from 2018 shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you... Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're going to take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're going to... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please! Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to- Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Miss the Paca got what he deserved. Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, we're billionaires. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart, and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is a red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. 
Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I could sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I want to help you. You, you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark... Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're going to use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm going to give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not going to use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling. Honey, where are you? Go hide in my closet right now. On, get in my closet. Wait, how long am I gonna have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But I'm sorry, just shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't need to. Ah! Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food or maybe even some shelter? Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not going to waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys still. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very- Well, well, what do we have mom, here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until- Tomorrow. Yeah, we got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop. Because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. And a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you, come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money, you're right. We should help others, and we're going to be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise, and we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint, 
You're five. How do you know that? Well, my queen, she... She what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked. I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no. <sighs> oh, oh, my new shoes. That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> Princess, hey, I'm uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek, it's the princess's nap time. Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go, it's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me, we have important business to attend to. Princess. Oh, I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop. That tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm going to climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, oh. ah. I think I just pushed Prince Derek out the window. <gasps> Prince Derek? He's alive! He landed on a giant pile of pillows, but what are a giant pile of pillows doing outside my castle? Your Majesty, the hundred thousand pillows you ordered have arrived. Excellent! Figures. Uh, what happened? Oh, he's waking up. I am so sorry. Listen, I'm gonna think of a way to save you. I just need more of my brain cells to come back. Come on, think. I think I have an idea. Come on. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm up. Nice thinking using the sheets. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty good for someone who just got pushed out of tower. <laughs> Listen, I am so sorry. This is what I was trying to tell you. The queen, she's been giving me a potion that's been taking away my brain cells. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just realized you're talking normal now. Has she been doing this to you for years? There he is. He's in here, gods. Take him away. Ugh. He is the prince from the rival kingdom, and he was trying to poison the princess. No, stop. Wait, the queen is lying. Don't listen to the princess. Remember, she only has ten brain no. cells. No, I'm smart now. My brain cells are coming back. I... Silence. That's enough. Take this. You're going to drink that potion right now, or I will have the prince killed. No. Drink it, or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake. Drink it for real. I can see your brain cells. <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly, and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um, get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the gods now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing them in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. <gasps> Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly dingly. The key! Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping and shiny thing, so me takey. <laughs> okay, well hurry, unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh! <laughs> Good. Now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <gasps> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess! Brain cells, all of them. 
coming back fast. Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, all right? Oh, no, outsmart me. I don't think so. Stop, you can't do this. It's against... I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here, drink this. And this time, it's not a potion. And this time, it's not a potion. You poison this? So what makes you think that I'm gonna drink it? I'm willing to trade you, your life, <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please, you were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor, but to show you that I mean business. <sighs> no, Derek. You know how you can save him, dear. You are a monster. People do crazy things to remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No. That a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. <sighs> uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the prince has lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get here in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, princess, as, as you, you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works, too. Okay, it's done. The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be all right. But his father from the rival kingdom is here, and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You, your stepmother, kidnapped my son. And you, you saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well, it was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know, um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, hey, I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe, I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't, you'll get- I'm coming in! Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt, just in case you need it. Thanks, come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. 
Baby, come on, I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my Amber Alert? Missing girl from 2018 shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're going to take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No, help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Miss the Paca got what he deserved. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. <laughs> 
Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. Okay, sure, honey. You can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure. Do you have the receipt? I don't. I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> Now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. 
And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? You were right. She is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Samantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle, you turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was gonna say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're going to need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. 
Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now, come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're going to make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is going to be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just going to be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm going to be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no. God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here, and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say, that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I... Get out of my house. You heard her get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I, I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Twitz, Listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it, because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? 
I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. Pet sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well, I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog. Please, she's the only friend I got. Look, I get it. But Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No. Don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance, and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. But I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> What did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I- I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're going to have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're going to scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah.
How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Oh, good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you Don't are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. No, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of Freeze Kid. What the? Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you! Did a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm gonna have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Uh, Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. <gasps> it worked! Alright, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me! Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down, you're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um... Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. <gasps> There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh, who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of mom. Well, I kind of sort of used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir, she is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no, L let's go. You're not getting that, you're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes and I want this. Sadie, don't you dare start cry- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <laughs> no, ma'am. Good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? 
Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <sighs> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay. Hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out. Come here. That was a lot of smoke. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm going to be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would because... Nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> My voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> this is kid life versus adult life. Kid. I guess I must have fallen asleep watching Spongebob. Oh well. Mom, what's for breakfast? Adult. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. I fell asleep watching Criminal Minds again. Oh, and I slept in my makeup. I'm gonna break out tomorrow. And I forgot to buy groceries. <laughs> Kid. What time is it? Oh, it's already midnight. No wonder I'm so sleepy. Adult. <gasps> Bruh, what time is it? Dang, it's only midnight? Okay, next episode. Kid. Mommy, don't get mad. I have to tell you something. Lily peed on the carpet in my room. What? You might want to go clean that up now. Adult. Why would you pee on the carpet? Do you know how much my landlord is going to charge me for that? But you're still so stinking cute. I can't be mad at you. No, I can't. No, I can't. Turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi, I didn't even my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the wrong number, I guess. Grandma, mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I didn't even my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. Turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I didn't even my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't Turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I didn't even my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that! <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey! You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey! You turned my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I didn't even my calls. You haven't called me. 
Miss Applewood, you were phoning. Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the wrong number, I guess. Grandma, mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning... The Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby... Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! Stuffed turkey! You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning... The Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that! <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby! Stuffed turkey! You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby... Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning... The Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't... turkey you turned my baby into a out of it recently you know i can hear you right hi grandma hi. <gasps> susan susan my baby stuffed turkey you turned my baby into a out of it recently you know i can hear you right hi grandma hi I'm answering any of my calls you haven't called me miss applewood you were phoning the wrong number i guess grandma mom's on the phone she says hi it's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning the wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning... The Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby... Stuffed turkey. You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey! You turned my baby into a... Out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I'm answering any of my calls. You haven't called me. Miss Applewood, you were phoning... The Wrong number, I guess. Grandma, Mom's on the phone. She says hi. It's yeah, Mom, she says she loves you. I didn't say that. <gasps> Susan! Susan! My baby stuffed turkey! You turned my 
my baby into a out of it recently. You know I can hear you, right? Hi, Grandma. Hi. I wonder what's in Mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma, do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake, but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma, do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma, do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Like, no, I haven't seen him yet. 
Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying. I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth, because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie, because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth, because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie, because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. 
but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying. I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no. Why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma, do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake, but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh. Huh? It's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Okay. No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no. Why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you, are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake, but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no. Why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake. No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, I, no, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake, no, I haven't seen him yet. 
Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, uh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? no. Why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying. I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like- Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying- I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh. Uh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma, do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake, but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, uh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth, because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie, because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, uh, it's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like- Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, uh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh. Uh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie. Because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, uh, it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma, do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth, because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie, because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, uh, it's just like, you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. 
but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet.
Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying. I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like he Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like he Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like... He yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... He yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... He yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I like... He yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... He yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth. Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I like... He yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. 
but there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Oh, huh? it's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth... Now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying, I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. 
Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly, what? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying. I wonder what's in mommy's purse. I really hope you're telling the truth because if you don't tell the truth before the time you told the truth, now remember, never lie because it's very dangerous, okay? Jake? No, I haven't seen him yet. Hey, baby. Jake, you are so funny. Huh? It's just like you could get any girl in the world. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Emma. Do you have a crush on my boyfriend? Because you are you sure you're telling the truth? Honestly? What? No, why would I lie? Yeah, I do have a crush on Jake. But there's something else you should know. No, Emma, you're lying. He would never do that. If I was lying... You make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you? I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. 
Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's alright now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if... if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Oh, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings? Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <laughs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally, come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get. Out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I- Stop calling her, she's not gonna answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away. For some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her- You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. 
Really? Because I'm new here, and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah! What the? Oh! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. Okay, pick a babysitter. A Navy SEAL or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since Dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the SEAL. You do realize it's not the animal SEAL? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> Well, speaking of duty, <laughs> I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. <laughs> Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? <sighs> Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. <laughs> You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie! You let her go! <laughs> let go of her! Sadie! Come here! <laughs> give me the laptop now. Okay, okay, just take it. Finally! You have what you want, now let them go! I don't think so. Take them to the other room. No! Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry. The babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! No one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright, let's get you free. Neff, come on, wake up! <sighs> what? What happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight- You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff, kick his ass! Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls. Please. As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. All right, it's fine with me. Yay. Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, what billion is. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is a red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. 
Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I can sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I want to help you. You... you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray-painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm gonna take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark... Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're gonna use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm gonna give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not gonna use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Ah, oh, shoot. Darling! Honey, where are you? Go hide in my closet right now. Get in my closet. Wait, how long am I gonna have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But I'm sorry, just shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't need to. Ah! Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food or maybe even some shelter. Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys still. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very- Well, well, what do we have mom, here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until- Tomorrow, yeah. We got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop. Because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. <gasps> and a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you, come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money, you're right. We should help others, and we're gonna be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise, and we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. 
Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like... salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on, my dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. Thank you, we must go, but... I'll come visit you again, I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait, just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? 